Hey folks, we're back with Remnants of the Precursors. Let's get straight into this. Okay. It's been a few days since I've played, so I'm just going to see where we're at with this game. First thing I like to do is just go and check the status. So, the humans have caught us up with technology. I'm not having that. <laughs> God damn you. Okay, uh, we are still... Um, leading with the total power, or well, leading in total power. Um, the Alkari have outstripped us with production, but that won't last. Um, the Mechlon, sorry, the Mechlar, which is us. Wow, we're all we're we're all kind of the first four factions are neck and neck there with the amount of planets we've got. The human Alkari, Ignoid, and Mechlar. Interesting. Uh, that is because I've been systematically bombing the uh, Ignoids. I actually was hoping that they would put up more of a fight, uh, more of a fight than they did, but I think they they blew their load a little bit too quick. <laughs> so um, yeah. Um, also, I I kind of I was smart about just attacking their attacking their systems with just small amounts of ships. Now they've got two ships incoming here, two slates, and they've got some transports too. Um, I've got 19 population. They're bringing 21 transports in. Uh, oh, that's right. I was redeploying some of these fleets from from Pier down to Datol. Okay. So that's where we were on that side of the galaxy. <clears throat> um, with the Persians, I've still not taken them. Enemy Terran. Hold on a minute. Okay, all right, I see. That's the Persian homeworld. So, oh, I see. I'm just getting a bit confused because we're the same colour as the Persians, that's all. I have to remember that there's these squares that... Okay, so um, yeah, we're still sat above their their home world. And the idea was to bombard them a few times so that I could actually start sending... Ooh, that's nasty. Um, so that we can start sending some transports off. Is that something I did this turn? No. Okay, why are we down at minus 40 growth? interesting that looks like I've sent that looks it's looking to me like I've sent ships from there um, yeah 47 okay so looks like I'm trying to take Yalaria now Yalaria and we've got yeah these are sending to here I don't know why that's not showing I'm not sure why that's not showing at all it's kind of unusual okay now, Almazian, since it's not such a great planet, I might just send half of my population to Adhill um, so that we can just quickly get that back up and running. So we're sending 40 pops from there, we're sending 30 from there. Um, yeah, see, this one's showing my negative growth. There might be an issue with this game that we need to look at um, with regards to the transports not showing. Once you reload the game, they're not showing it. Anyway, sorry, I'm just talking to myself here. So let's... Let's just make sure that we are actually sending some pops over. <clears throat> In fact, I'm going to send those. No, I'll leave it there. Al Almesian here. This is not the best planet because it's a mineral poor planet. So we, we're better off growing population here, I think. Um, okay. I just want to have a quick look at the technology situation. We've got some tech spending. I'm not happy that the humans are catching us up there. That's not good. Let's just see if we can find what they've got. I've got loads of stuff. Scatterpack V, um, improved industrial tech eight. Let me just see what um, what we've got with regards to. I forget. I forget which we've got now in construction. We've got tech nine, improved industrial tech nine. I want improved industrial tech eight. That might be worth trading with the humans actually. Let's just see if we can see if we can get something from them. So, I mean, Scatterpack V would also be good. Um, death spores I'm not bothered about really. They want either enhanced eco restoration or improve robotics control. No, I'm not giving either of those. I'm not not for not for that tech. Um, so we're going for interest, re reduced industrial waste sixty percent. Uh, we're nowhere near it either. Hmm. Okay. What's happening? 
the space crystals just wiped out the West system. So that's it. the space crystals just doing what it does best. All right, let's uh, let's also play this battle. There we go. And we, okay, we might have bitten off a little bit more than we can chew here. So let's see what we can do. Um, they've got hyper V's, and these slates have got hyper V's as well. Two, four, six, seven. Seven Hyper V's and these guys have got seven as well. They're just split differently. That's interesting. And these guys, this is a bomber. Um, hmm. I'm going to try and take these guys on, I think. I think we're going to lose a few of them, though. Oh, wow, we've lost a few already. Okay, we did take some down there. Yeah, we lost one. Uh, they, they lost one there. I think my own fusion bombers are gonna gonna take some hits here. What have we got left? Uh, we're down sixty three. Might try and move this one back. Yeah, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna, well, we're just wasting ships here. I think we're gonna retreat actually. Yeah, let's retreat, I think. Um, we managed to kill a few, they kill a few as well. I, I wouldn't I think added to the fact that they had a planet, um that they had missile bases on that planet, that was a bit of a bad move. Um do I bombard them? Yeah, I'll hit them with one more salvo. Down to fifty. Okay. Yeah, look at all those factories they lost. Okay. <clears throat> yes, we want to bombard this planet. I think. Yeah, let's just bombard them. I don't think we can take all of them so quickly. I do need to make sure that I leave some fleets guarding those planets, though, because I don't want any of my neighbours landing on them. Uh, they want Zortrium armour. I don't want Death Spores for that. Okay. So Mechlon's finally built um, shields. Yeah, I want some missile bases upon Mechlon. Let's have a quick look at the uh, diplomatic situation with all of these guys. Okay, so we're obviously at war with the Persians and the Ichneoids. The Cylons with unity with us. Okay, that's interesting. So they might be able to. We might be able to trade a few techs from them. Uh, I don't know. Anti-missile rockets. Nah, not bothered really. Um, yeah, certainly not for those. Let's not. I'm not bothered about those. The Alcari are in harmony with us. Uh, they've got class three deflectors. What would they trade for that? I wonder. Duraloy might be worthwhile. Um, yeah, I'll take the deflector shields. Um, so sometimes it's useful to be able to, to have some of the lesser. Uh, some of the lesser shields. I mean, we've got class four, right? But we're going to have three now, and three is is kind of midway between two and four. Some, sometimes it's useful to be able to get extra ones, and I don't mind trading for, for Duraloy actually. Um, they are at the moment happy with us, so they're in harmony with us. We might be able to get an alliance with them, and at the moment they're not in my way, so um, I've got plenty of other directions that I can be expanding out into. And, the, and honestly, it looks like the humans are going to be our next. Are going to be the next problem for us. Um, <clears throat> they've certainly got a lot of planets, and they're starting to powerhouse in technology as well. They're probably trading it with everybody. I would have thought. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Are these MPG bombers? They're landing at Dattol. Uh, okay, so it was this system here, it was Noom, that we, we uh, attacked and we decided to to flee from. Probably wise. Okay, and I'm just going to go straight to the next turn. Okay, the Space Crystal, uh, space crystal is taking on another AVRI sh colony. We've not met the AVRI in this game yet. Uh, okay, let's just auto-resolve this. Yeah, I'll auto-resolve that too. And...
island yet. We don't want to bomb this planet, I don't think. Oh, I might as well. Let's make it easy for us. Um, here we go. And we hopefully we can take the Persians' homeworld now. Yeah, we've got Zortri in battle seats. I don't think they can stand a chance. And ion rifles. I'm pretty sure I could probably have got through without having to wipe out all those factories, but so be it. We'll just reduce the Persians to a bloody stain on the ground. And there's the class 3 deflector shields. And the Persians want peace. I bet you do. Keep your relics. Peace is all we desire from you now. I know you do. Okay, so we've ordered the end to hostilities. Um, uh, the Clacant are within trading range finally. Interesting. So we've got somebody else now that we can spy on. Um, where are we? Yep. That's fine. Opal. No, we can't. We can't terraform any further. Uh, yeah, let's just leave the, leave Opal on building on research. I think. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, it's rich. Might be a good. Might be a good place to be building ships then. Um, although th it will still help with research too. Ah, okay. So um, bloody Kenshiro, one of the um, people who've been following the the channel. Hi, bloody Kenshiro, by the way. Um, he he's he recommended why don't you start building some sort of smaller ships that you can use to patrol now uh, uh, because the the Igneoids don't really have a huge amount now, so it might be wise to do that. Perhaps spend a little bit less money on upkeep on these large large ships, and it'll be fun to build something new as well. So I like that idea. I'm going to try it. Um, Okay, so we've just captured the Ileria. We need to convert the plant. Oops. I think we need to convert these. Yeah, we don't want to terraform. Um, yeah, we need to start building factories. So that's the first job. And that's going to be a great planet, the Ileria. That's going to be a really powerful planet for us. We need to get it up to speed quickly, just in case the humans try anything on with us. Uh, Zoltar has reached its industry maximum of 690. Uh, okay, so I want to keep them on industry spending. We are upgrading our missile bases by here by the looks of it. Let's get them. Let's just put more into tech. I think for the time being, I want to. I want to try and zoom ahead with my tech technology, especially since the humans are catching us up. I don't like that. So let's stop building ships here, and I can leave a little bit going into into defense because I'd like to carry on upgrading. But I really mostly want these guys to be making. Uh, they have got eight missile bases, uh, but I, I mostly want them to be putting into tech. So research is important. Yeah, we're just going to carry on bombing Geode. Oh, yeah. It looks like the Alkari are, are actually starting to starting to make a, a play for some of these planets. Um, yeah, they're sending 80, 80 transports. I don't want them to do that. I don't want them to take any of those those planets. Actually, I think I might send. Uh, what can I do? What can I do about that situation? We can't reach that one, but we can reach Noom. Uh, what's Datol saying? Uh, we need more population at Datol, so I might send a few send some transports. Yeah, and just replace the, uh, the the growth there. Hold on, six. Oh no, we might actually might be just worth splitting it a bit so that I don't think um, I think we can control five now. Five is it? I think so. <clears throat> I'm just checking the technology screen. So uh, we can control six per colonist. So uh, we can we need to not worry about growth until we've hit three hundred there. I might just leave a little bit in growth actually, just to because I'm likely to forget. <laughs> That's something that I do do. Okay, yeah. And the Persians are sending ships at us again. Now, I don't know if that was something that they, they'd done already. Oh, well, it's not going to get them anywhere, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, Altair has exhausted its heavy metal deposits, making the planet mineral poor. That's great. Built another ion fusion bomber. And yeah, this turn I'm going to actually design a few more ships, I think. So we've got another battle at Geode. Uh, 
Uh, I'm just going to leave those there. So we've got to get in as quickly as possible. Yeah, we're going to eat some missiles on the way, but... So let's take out this slate first. Got it. And MPG bombers. Okay, they've got no missile bases there, so don't have to worry about that. And then the MPG bombers are just going to finish these guys off, I reckon. Yeah, and, oh, we've uh, got another shot in on them. An easy victory. And yes, let's bomb the planet. Bombard the planet. I'd like to take Geode. Okay, we finally infiltrated Ignoid colonies and we can start uh, we can start taking out missile bases now. Um, which is the homeworld? I forget. I think it must be Geode. Yeah, this is it. This is the Ignoid's homeworld. Um, so we're, we're, we're going to take that out already. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. I mean... Sighting a rebellion is not going to be much good at this point. Let's just take out. Let's just take out the missile bases. There we go. So we took out two missile bases there. Uh, do we want to build a new colony? Yes, we do. There we go. One more colony to add to the collection. And the Ignoids want an end to the war. Um, I don't know. I mean, they're going to be a bit of a pain in, in the bottom if we... Yeah, they're, they're worried that they're going to lose their home world. That's what this is. So I might just say no here. <laughs> um, it's, you don't want to be at war too much. But I've got to the point now where I can probably contain everything that they're doing with the ships that I've got, with just a, just a few shipyards building. So I don't think it's going to be a big problem for us, actually. Uh, let's just see what they've got here. No missile bases. Yeah, let's send these guys over from Opal. Don't want those scouts. I don't need those scouts sending. There we go. Uh, we've got two ion fusion bombers at, uh, at Titan as well we can send over. So what are these? These are two ion fusion bombers, another two. That should be enough to take on that. Um, we'll wipe, we'll, we'll, tr we'll take Geode. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bomb them bomb them out and then I'll send another colony ship over it like I did last time. So let's send some transports over to Pier. We'll send a few from Pentium. There we go. And so we'll just increase their growth spending too. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm not sure why they're still sending ships out. I think I don't know if they were sent before we uh, we ended that war. Uh, okay, so we are. We have got. We can actually do a little bit more exploration now. So it's just. Um, oops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Oh, just on the edge of those. Send one there. That's fine. And just make sure that our. Just have a look at our spending everywhere else. Yep, yep. Okay, we're going into. Uh, it's talking about reserve spending there, so let's just. Okay, there we go. Mechlon is just going to build, build a, a few more bases. I might actually build put it up to ten. There we go. So we're actually making two a year now at Mechlon. I w I'd like to get some missile bases up there. Okay. Mm. It's starting to. They are. They are still pumping out ships. I just don't think that they've got much to be able to to hit us with now. Um, so there's eight missile bases there. That's a fair amount. What I'm going to do is I'm going to. I might not build that many missile bases. I might just start building ion fusion bombers. Also, this turn, let's create a medium-sized ship, and we can we can start building some patrol fleets that we can use just to as a kind of rapid reaction force so let's go down to medium and um let's remove that col colony base let's just clear it okay there we go <clears throat> so first we want zortrium armor always good to get the best armor you can and um 
best computers we can get. We don't necessarily need the best shields, but I mean, there's a there's a school of thought that basically says that in in remnants of the precursors or masters of Orion, you want to keep your ships alive over, you know, kind of maxing out damage because keeping them alive is more important. Because every destroyed ship is money that you've wasted. Um, that being said, I don't think it's that simple. And sometimes, it, you know, it does pay not to have so many shields on something because you want to be able to kill something quicker before they can actually hit you. So, um, yeah, it just depends. Well, we've got ion cannons now, which ain't bad. They're, they're still a relatively early game, but they're, they're not bad. We've also got Mercury Light missiles. Um, Mercury Light missiles do a fair amount of damage. They're certainly better than the, uh, the Hyper-Vs that we've got that we had sorry um let's have a look damage here we go so the hyper v's were doing six mercury doing 10. i might just put some i might put ion cannons on these guys um so if we don't put any shields on or any other devices yeah they're using a lot of missiles so i might put a missile an ecm on these ones definitely want to increase their thrusters Four ion cannons. Um, uh, okay, yeah, I kind of want shields on them as well. So I could have class two shields and three ion cannons on each one. Oh, we also need to make sure they've got sublight drives. That's really important too. Hmm. We could probably do without the ECM. The only thing is the ECM jammer. They are using a lot of missiles, and ECM jammer. I mean, they're they're. We could put an inertial stabilizer on them even. That would probably be more cost efficient than putting on. Yeah, look, I mean if we if we let's take off the inertial stabilizer. So we've got 34 space if we've got an ECM jammer, and that gives us missile defense six. Or we could put the inertial stabilizer on, which gives us two maneuverability. And 28. So yeah, it's actually better to put the inertial stabilizer on anyway first. So um, we can have class two shields on these, so they'll absorb two two hit points from every attack that they take, and they've got they're they're really nippy as well. They'll they'll be able to move quickly, move in quickly, and they'll be able to avoid avoid damage. Now we can take something else on here. We could probably put a neutron pellet gun on as well. Yeah. So we've got a neutron pellet, pellet gun too, which which is useful against um, anything with large you know lots of shields too. So. Neutron pellet guns might actually be better than ion cannons here, thinking about it. I mean, they do 2 to 5, but they also halve the shield strength. Hmm. I mean, 3 to 8 is, is, is better, obviously, but when you start adding shields onto this, so, I mean, let's say they've got a, they've got a class 2 shield on as well, then we're going to be doing one between 1 and 5, and that's less already than what we've got on the ion cannon, uh, sorry, on the neutron pellet gun, and the neutron pellet gun's smaller and it costs less power. Yeah, I, I might just stick with the MPG. I think that might, uh, just assuming that the enemies are going to be using them, might you only get three? Um, I could take two MPGs and one ion cannon, and that's, get, that's making better use of the space we've got. Um, I don't know if we can fit anything else on here. A Gatling laser. We, oh no, we're not going to be able to fit a Gatling laser on. Yeah, it's just you have to re, you have to sort of think about what it is that you're going to be using them against. So, for example, at the moment, the wars that we're in, we're fighting against the Igneoids mostly. Now, the Igneoids are using between yeah, they're mostly using class two shields now by the looks of it. So. The, uh, we're better off against the Ignois. We're actually better off using um, neutron pellet guns. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually put some neutron pellet guns on these guys. Now three neutron pellet guns ain't bad. And the fact that these are also going to be quite hard for them to hit. They're not going to be able to hit them hit us with missiles very easily. I don't think. Can we put an e a missile jet? No. We could reduce an NPG down and, and give us a give us a um, an ECM jammer, and then that makes their, def their missile defense eight. Now, looking at their uh, what combat? Well, have a look at their combat computer. Their attack level is three or four. So attack level three. Oh, I haven't I haven't got the uh, usually before I play this I actually I, I get up the rule book so that I can I can make calculations like this but um, 
suffice to say that three or four they're going to be rolling i think something like 80 they're going to have to be getting eight eight or better um on a d10 so that's pretty that's pretty tough for them to hit a uh, missile defense six is significantly less i mean it might just be worth us doing that and they're not gonna be able to touch us with although one two npgs isn't that great so i mean three npgs hmm Alternatively, we could drop down the armor type to Duraloy. Duraloy is pretty good. I mean, we got 36 hit points versus 27, but then we could probably put, fit more weapons on. I mean, we, yeah, 27 hit points. Hmm. I'm sorry, guys. I could I could fiddle with this forever, and it's probably not the most exciting thing to watch. So I'll, I think what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll I'll keep it as they are. The Zortrum armor is great; it will keep them alive. Three MPGs isn't bad. We probably don't need DCM jammer, but I'm kind of tempted to put it on. I'm tempted to put it on because it will just make their missiles useless against us, and you know, and two MPGs ain't bad. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go with that. So these are these are a real. They're going to be really hard to hit with missiles. Um, so these are MPG, uh, what should I call them? MPG destroyers, MPG destroyer, and it's a three. So because we've got the supply drives, there we go. Um, these guys are going to be directly designed to counter these, um, these missile ships they're using. In fact, they're just entirely using hyper -Vs and they've got some Feldspars, uh, that, but they're hyper, I mean, these hyper, Heavy lasers are going to do a lot of damage against these things. It might be an idea to, all, uh, if they start countering them, we could probably get rid of these laser boats now because they're just useless. So let's scrap them. And um, what we can do is we can design another ship to to count, uh, to go along with these MPG destroyers. Now these can be, <clears throat> let me think how to do this. We could have small ships. I do like small ships. I don't need small ships with that many lasers though. Um, Uh, I like the inertial stabilizer. Yeah, I can get a Mark IV. I can get a Mark IV battle computer on one MPG uh, n uh, neutron pellet gun, and um, yeah, they're they're not as they're not going to be as tanky against missiles as the MPG destroyer. But but I can pump out loads of these, loads of them, and the M the MPGs at this stage of the game it ain't a bad. It's not a bad weapon. Um, it's not a bad weapon, particularly because it halves that shield strength. So these are going to be quite these are going to be quite hard to kill as well because they've got a relatively high beam defense because of the inertial stabilizer. So um, yeah, can I get a laser on there as well? No, not quite. That's a shame. And we're using titanium armor. Oh, there we go. If we if we upgrade to Zortrium. So actually, this is these are a nasty little ship now. They're a nasty little ship. With an attack level four, that's pretty good. So let's let's deploy that, and um, we're going to call them uh, MPG fighter. Oops, MPG fighter three. Ah, hold on, I see what I've done. I need to increase that. Ah, all right. Here is a problem. So we've not quite got enough space for um, for the build that we've got. Now we could drop the Zortrium armor down to Duraloy, and it's still not going to work. Um, maybe reduce the battle shoot. No, I can't do that. Okay, so um, by increasing the maneuverability, we've actually put uh, we don't need to, we don't need to worry too much. But the thing is now, um, we we've actually got a rather bad attack roll. Now they're only using uh, what speed were they at? And bearing in mind, we don't ju just want to be looking at the Igneoids because we do need to see what else they're using. So their beam dis missile defense and beam defense is only one. So actually, that's okay. Um, yeah, these large ships, they've got, they, they haven't, they've got really poor missile and beam defense. They're just not maneuverable. So that's good news for us. It means that we don't have to worry too much about computers. Um, so computer twos will probably be fine. So yeah, we can still put the Zortrium armor on them. And yeah, they're they're not going to take many hits, but they do have a high missile defense and beam defense. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That looks good to me. So let's deploy that design. 
MPG fighter. I'm going to change the. Uh, I'm just going to change this to a different build, a uh, different picture. Here we go. Oh, look at that! It looks like an eyeball. I love it. <laughs> okay, let's have an NPG fighter. Three. Excellent. Right, and let's get a few shipyards, building a few of these every turn. So we've got an ion fusion bomber on the way. Yeah, let's keep. Let's just build that ion fusion bomber. I do like those. Yeah, I don't want to be building tech with this planet. Um, with Mechlon. Pentium. Let's get them being built on these planets here. So what we can do is we can actually just gradually build build some of these MPG fighters. And let's just get... So we're pumping out one a turn. We don't need many of them. Um, but it will be useful to have to have some. Uh, we could build... Wow, well, we can build 40. 40 a turn here. Yeah, maybe we can build a few more than this. Although it would be better to build our industry up first, let's just get a, we'll get it pumping a few out, and then we'll we'll build the industry here. Opal can can pump out loads, so uh, so yeah, forty one a turn. Now forty one a turn. If you imagine forty one of those uh, of those neutron pellet guns all hitting one target, and especially if they're quite hard to hit back, these guys aren't going to be able to do much against it. And forty one MPG fighters is probably going to be, well, I, I assume it's going to be about the same upkeep as one of those um, one of those larger battleships that we're using okay mm, how many have we got here 29 yeah I, i'm not too worried about about sending too many transports up but it'll be good to get a few oh where was that going from uh where was i sending penty uh maybe it was there there we go pier yeah, we certainly want to start sending sending more ships here anyway. Uh, sorry, more population. Uh, Dartle, McClone. Let's just get a few. There we go. Let's build an MPG destroyer. And they're sending them to Pentium. Let's set the rally point at Sugil instead. And the same with mainframe. Um, I want to set... Oops. Set the rally point to Sugil. And yeah, let's get them building the same... Get some of those MPG destroyers. Mm, kind of a lot of tech spending, but that's okay. Let's just get a few of these out. Get a few, spend a few turns getting some of these out, and then just get a. I mean, ten of those would probably be pretty effective. So um, yeah, we don't need too many of them. I might. I, I even switch these to these destroyers too. And I might send the ones from Mechlon over to Adhill. I could send them straight down to Datol, actually. That might be better. Okay. Right, I'm, I'm finished faffing around. Okay, guys, and I'm going to end the episode there because we've just passed half an hour. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you later, guys. Bye.